People laugh at me because I'm critical of singers of the past. I absolutely adore some of them and others I think have absolutely no business ever being heard outside of their bedroom window. What the internet and this free social media has done is it's allowed all these little people to come out of the shadows who had incredible talent but were n had no chance of ever being discovered because they weren't in the right place at the right time, they didn't know the right people. Where in the past, you could become a star if someone wanted to just make you a star. Half the people in boy bands were chosen because of their looks, not because they could sing at all. They would pick one or two who could sing pretty well and then the rest were just, can you kind of carry a tune and can you look really good? But the internet is doing away with that. There are millions of people busting out with far more talent than some of the people that used to be the lucky ones to make it to become the stars while everybody else sat at home and was like, I can sing better than that, but I'll never be discovered. But even more so, access to seeing people everywhere. Anyone has a camera, a video camera in their pocket and access to these platforms where they can show it to the whole world at any moment. What it's also done is bring all the little obscure people with strange little talents that might not fill up an amphitheater, but definitely could amass a sizable following of like-minded, strange, maybe eccentric type people who also have this obscure love for some specific genre of a genre or some weird combination of three different genres that nobody ever thought of putting together before. So I'm not saying that everybody should crave the spotlight. Most people don't by nature. All I'm saying is that you should live your best life. You have no more excuses. If you do want to be seen and heard, you can press two buttons on your phone and press three more buttons to put that video or photo out to the whole world. Now the whole world won't see it right away because now there's millions of people doing the same thing, but the sky is the limit of how far you want to push yourself. You don't need an agent, you don't need a promoter, you don't need to be discovered in some place at the right time and just be the one in a million who got super lucky. It's all up to how much effort you put in to it. So whatever sets your art on fire, don't go for the money. Unless you think money is part of the fun, which is okay, but don't be obsessed with the money. Go for what made you go, oh, that's it, when you were 13 or when you were 17 or when you were 11. Go for the thing that you were like, oh, now that's me. And whether that means you're doing it for an audience or you're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for your family, go for that thing. And if you are 47 or 73 or 82, does not matter because you still have breath, you still have blood pumping, and therefore you are a miracle. You are one of the highest, most fantastically, unimaginably incredible life creatures in existence ever. Don't waste a single minute.